sir, that's made out of some kind of metal. I've never seen you before. I am Iron Man, motherfucker. Wow, no shit. What's your language, you two? I'm here on a very important mission. What is your mission, alcoholic? I'm here to tell you to see my new film, Iron Man. <gasps> wow! I never thought I'd see anyone as cool as you on screen. Next, we'll see Tom Wakeoff. Boys, I've been in comics, Saturday morning cartoons, video games, and now it's my time to shine. I made my way to the big screen. And who knows, if two guys as popular as you review it, I might actually make my way into an alone time film. And I might even get to show my iron rod. But wait a minute, I've read every single one of your comics and I don't ever remember you having an iron rod. I've always had an iron rod. But as you know, the comic books had to stay child friendly in order to gain a bigger fan basis. Wow, is there anything you can't do? Mr. Iron Rod, are you, are you all right? Stupid voice changer. Boys, just go see the movie already and quit wasting time. Think of it this way, the sooner you see the movie, the sooner the world gets to see my Iron Rod. Come on, Ross, let's get going and see Iron Man so this guy can accomplish his dreams. Okay. Come on, Ross, let's go. <clears throat> Goodbye, Mr. Iron Rod. Don, it's Iron Man. I just call him as I see him, Ruff, and he has a huge wiener. And I saw it. And it looked extra irony. I am so, so pleased I saw that. I feel like I just took a great BM. And you know how good that can be? A great BM after eating, um, great baked potatoes. That was like the best film I've seen since, like, Rambo. It was like, the what? best film that I've seen since Storm Off on the Train. Wow, that was a while back. And since Tom Wakeoff's trip to McDonald's. That was the best one. That was the best film ever. McDonald's, goodness, Tom Wakeoff. I think this is quite possibly one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Not probably, not probably. Probably. Not pretty close. But, yeah, something like that. But when you compare it to other superhero movies, like the last Spider-Man movies, I mean, the Spider-Man movies were fine, but this movie really epiphanies a real superhero movie. A real true good superhero. A true one. I, I mean, mean, I always knew he was one of my favorite heroes. I didn't know about him before this. But the thing that I was really happy about, though, was it didn't have all those stupid, you know, dumb scenes and currentness and teenish qualities and current music. I know. And trying to be hip and cool and be dead. There wasn't any of that, that crap. No, none of that. It had like, this elegant 55-year-old man feel. You know, drinking, drinking like, you know, booze. Like an elegant booze drink. Something like that. I loved it. But Spider-Man had this feel like, you know, they say that a ribbon's a sandwich. You know, that kind of, you know, Nickelback feel. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fine, but... It's fine. But Iron Man is a tr the epiphany of, like, a true, good, like, epic, awesome movie. And I have to see how which one's better, Murph, Iron Man or the New Hawk. The new one that's coming out. Because I think that's the only superhero movie that can know Batman 2. But Batman's a DC comic one. Yeah, it doesn't really count. But Marvel, that's hard to say. I, I mean, I haven't seen it. I mean... I don't know, Murph. It's going to be a tough to think this is hard because in the end of the summer, you know how we always do a video talking about the best summer movies? Because this is officially the first summer movie. Oh, yeah. So it's summer now? Summer blockbuster. Wow. It's not very really summer yet, but this is considered a summer blockbuster. Hmm. Do you even go to blockbuster anymore? I don't. Anyway, though, Murph, the movie stars Robert Downey Jr. as, as Iron Man. 
Oh, okay, it's, it's all sorry. You go, Tony Stark. That's how his name is Iron Man. And he, and he makes weapons for a company, and he goes down to Iraq to show off army men and some women, yes, his um, new weapons. And then he gets hijacked in it and taken over by Iraqis and put in a cave and forced to make weapons for them. But instead he makes an Iron Man trash can suit and breaks out, you know, you already know from the trailer what he does. Then he goes back home and perfects another suit. But we want to say anything else, you know, because we don't want to ruin it. I will say. Yeah, you know, that was pretty much the movie. There was a lot more to it than that. I'm kidding, Murph, I'm kidding. They, I was going to say, even someone like you should like this movie. I mean, uh, you know, we got to admit. Except, no, but you know how Bat, you know, Bruce Wayne is Batman? Yeah. Well, Tony Stark is Iron Man. That's not right. No, his name's Iron Man. That's why I was calling him the whole movie. I was rooting for Iron Man. Well, that's good, but I'm just saying, you know, he had another name. Clark Kent was his other name, Murph. Well, the movie, that's Superman. and then there's the other one there, and it was his girlfriend or something like that, Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, you mean um, Pepper Potts? That wasn't her name. It was Gwyneth Paltrow. It was the character's name. No, and she, and she was the assistant in the house with the glass in the basement. And she, you know, she rubbed his feet and everything. And then there was Terrence Marshall's, you know, Hard Life for a Pimp guy. Remember him? It's a Hard Life for a Pimp. What, you mean that, that friend of his who was in the army? Yeah, remember that movie he was in? It's like a Hard Life for a Pimp. I don't think I saw that. Well, I, did, I didn't either, but I saw the commercial. But he stars in it, too, as like an army guy. You know, and then I'm gonna think of what else there was to say about the movie. He had that cool friend, that Jewish friend who lived in the castle. The castle? In that, that place. Hmm. You know what I mean? What they are, Rax? You mean the cave? Yes. Oh yeah, that cool guy. It was, and we don't want to give too much away, but... Yeah. Just, I think this is like the first movie I've seen in a long time that I think is perfect. I mean, flawless. I mean, like, everything about it was good. Yeah. It did commit, you know, sin for drinking. But some of what made it kind of good. Yeah, Murph. But, you know, I've been studying the Bible lately, Murph, and drinking's not so good. I'm just kidding! I was gonna say, you studying the Bible? What? No, I'm not studying the Bible. It's something I do. You do? Well, more than you. I'm I, 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 stu I, I, I study and play girl. The pictures. Well, this film... It's like, like I said, the epiphany of the perfect superhero movie, the, the perfect epical movie, the perfect... I wouldn't go that far. Well, it is. I wouldn't go that far. Somehow I knew you'd have a problem. There's always a problem. No, really, it is. It's it's like the epiphany of, like, a perfect movie. And if you don't like it, well, there's just the thing. Either you, either you liked it, or you just didn't see it. That doesn't make any sense, Mark. Well, it does. I mean, it's not what the kind of movie... It makes can't... absolutely no sense. You cannot see it and not like it. No, it's not the kind... No, seriously. Either you see it, no matter what, you see... Stupid! Stupid! You see this movie and you like it, or you just don't see it. The only way you don't like it is if you haven't seen it. Yeah, so... Stupid, Murph. Don't listen to him. It was perfect. It was flawless. See it. No matter what, you'll like it. It was... It was probably one of the best movies ever. And if you didn't like it, well... I don't, that's just not an option because there's no, there's no reason you wouldn't. Same so, you. what I'm and see, enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy it. it. And catch you next time. Jeez, Mark, you really buffed that movie up. Because it was perfect. It might have been, but I, you know, my act is being negative. Okay? Fine.